So what's going on toxic gamers and Call of Duty beta testers? Right now, everybody's bricked up for Call of Duty, okay? Everybody's shaking right now, everybody's doing helicopters. There are some people that are hating on the game. We're gonna be talking about it, but overall, I'm seeing like everybody look like this, okay? Everybody's like loving the game right now. Some people are saying that the game is trash, this and that, and I'm seeing a lot of people say one thing and one thing only uh, that is making them not like the game. We're gonna also talk about that, but overall, of what I'm seeing is that people are liking the game, right? If you guys do use X or Twitter, I would definitely love to have you there as well, but yeah, Black Ops 6 gameplay on day one, guys. Like, this is uh, what's going on, as you guys can see, like... Uh, Seconds are loving the gameplay right. Damn, this guy's going crazy right now, getting headshots left and right. Aim is like, holy crap, like, he looks like that he's a better player than Face Swag as well, right? I don't think even Face Swag, with all the <laughs> like that, he could go crazy. Like the video if you just want a good year. Dislike the video if you want cheaters, if you want helmets, and you want the friendly BBC. Uh, I want to know like what you guys want like the video if you just want a good year But we're gonna actually dive into this one shout out to the homie shout out to the homie prestigious K, Mr. Rogers Mr. Positive of the community we're gonna actually get into the good stuff and then we're gonna get down to the bad stuff Okay, oh, yeah, it's gonna get real fellas roll it What I'm gonna be showing you is gameplay from my very first match ever. I was Genuinely surprising myself with some of the moves that I pulled off in the very first match considering uh -huh. I hadn't played before this And I wanted to talk a little bit about that plus I'll have some other matches in here as well But I gotta say I wasn't really knowing what to expect with the movement I mean over the past few months We've been talking about the idea of how it looked so smooth Damn. and it okay. really does translate well in game I think the best way to describe so it looks like that. This is his very first game So he's in the honeymoon phase. Okay noted how I feel about the new omnidirectional movement is uh, you know, as a, a an OG COD player, I remember mm -hmm. when they first introduced the Dolphin Dive. And the yeah. Dolphin Dive was yeah. used pretty sparingly. There was a lot of penalties behind it. The Dolphin Dive was also very iconic in many ways. It, it spawned True. a whole generation of memes. And of course, we remember Dolphin Diving down the stairs in Kino Der Toten for the first time. Yeah. I mean, all of these things came together in such an iconic memory that having this omnidirectional movement does the same thing, but it opens up so many more possibilities because you're no longer restricted when you're in a dive. You're able to W Omni direction movement or L because uh, yeah, here's the thing though right now A lot of the Call of Duty influencers are saying nothing but good things Okay, let's actually get this one thing cleared out right like a lot of the youtubers are saying good things and generally speaking The youth is impressionable. Okay, the youth our younger generation it Always falls for it. Okay, it always falls for it, right? So uh, you, you probably watching this video you're likely not getting paid to play this game, right? You're likely not getting invited out by Activision if you're playing this game let me know your genuine thoughts. So personally, I, I, I have not pre-ordered the game, so I'm, I'm just gonna try out the beta when I get the chance, like probably next week, that's when it's gonna go for free. Like I'm not I'm not pre-ordering the game just yet, okay? After seeing zombies, oh hell no, nah, bro. I, I was really excited for zombies, but these seconds didn't win zombies. I don't know about that one. But overall, I'm hearing nothing but good things about uh, the multiplayer, but there is only one negative so far that I'm hearing universally across the board, which we'll dive in in just a second. Dive left, right, backwards, sidewards, forwards, and you're still able to aim down sight and shoot while doing it at the same time. You can turn mid air and shoot at the same time. Oh, wow. It's all a very wow. smooth and engaging experience, making me play in ways that I wouldn't normally play, but it makes me feel like some action hero in a way when you're jumping out of a window and landing in a pool down below, firing bullets out as you're going down for a dive over a cliff ledge. It's really fucking cool. I really yeah, have no other way. Yeah, he hit in the G spot. He got hit in the G spot, Brad. He's firing dopamine right now. Yeah, that's the tough. That's tough, man. That's tough. He loving it. I listen, I cannot even hate it, brothers. I cannot even hate it. He liking it. I'm happy. I'm happy for all my stud muffins that are loving this game, okay? Shout out to my homes out there, man. Shout out to the, the, the homie prestigious key. He liking the game, he liking the game, he liking the game. Cause after all, you guys already know that the homie blame <laughs> He's not gonna be liking the game, man. Like I'm, I'm waiting for that fix, okay? I'm waiting for my fix. A lot of people gonna get free therapy, right? But it's good that people are liking the multiplayer. I love to hear that W right there, okay? W. But I wanna know your thoughts though. Maybe these are just Call of Duty influencers, like I said, maybe this is just the youth, the impressionable youth. When they're told the game is good, they accept it as it being good. If they're told the game sucks, they're gonna accept it that the game sucks, okay? So I wanna know you. I I, I wanna know what you think on this. I trust you more than these uh, Call of Duty uh, <laughs> influencers, let's just say. Way to explain it other than they dialed it in. They did a very good job making sure that it was super smooth and okay. it made sense for the gameplay at hand. 
Now, alongside that omnidirectional dive, we also have the movement that we've already discussed before in previous videos. Yeah. But now that I've had a chance to get hands on with it, I just can't believe how how intuitive it is. I think that's the best way to explain it. Like being able to just sprint forward, <laughs> backwards, left, right. It's something that I'm trying to teach myself. Because in oh, all yeah. of the Call of Duty games, if you try to go left or right or back, you- Bro, you just need to run and go left, right, straight, back. That's it, bro. <laughs> Learning complete. <laughs> Learning complete, man. Like, dang, y'all, what are we talking about? Y'all suck as we acting like this is the eighth wonder of the world or something. It's good that we get in it. Some people are hating it. Some people not uh, not really hating it. Some people loving it. I guess he's loving it way too much, right? Just like how the homie Blame Truth would be uh, glazing X Defined. <laughs> he would always be glazing X Defined, man. Uh, looks like that the homie's glazing this movement too, man. You lose all of that momentum as to where in this game, you actually keep the momentum. It's a okay. very strange feeling, but now that I've gotten used to it, I had to make one change in the settings oh, that I've never actually used before. And that was actually turning on the auto sprint because Jeez. sprinting backwards, left and right, it's like my brain is trying to learn to click the stick while going backwards, but at the same time, I think I'm saving myself a lot of heartache. So for those of you that are playing the game, I highly suggest going to your settings menu, going yeah. down to controller, heading on over to the movement section, and then under sprint assist, you could turn this on and then even change up the delay to where you want them to sprint oh, wow. instantly, or you can decide to, wow. Wow. to you know, add a little bit of a delay there if you don't want that. And then you still have full control over your tactical sprint if you want to do that. I okay. highly recommend doing this, mainly it. because it just lets you play without having to worry about the constant inputs on your stick, which I would mm -hmm. imagine is going to destroy mm -hmm. a lot of controllers this year. But it really is a weird sensation being able to go in any direction without losing momentum and then continuously be able to dive after getting up right away, which really is going to change up the way that this game is played. And I'm sure once the skill based matchmaking wow. kicks in, change it's going to be the sweatiest sweat fest that anyone's ever seen. There we go. There we go. Now, I didn't even want to bring skill based matchmaking up in here, right? The, the biggest negative that I'm seeing right now. Yeah, like pretty much everybody's across the board. I'm reading comments, right? P people are saying the game's looking good. The game's feeling fresh, loving that, loving the Omni move and all that, right? But the only biggest, uh, yeah, sure, like, there are little stuff here and there. I mean, pretty much mostly everyone is hating on zombies right now because, uh, you know, the intro looks so good. The hand-selected gameplay they showed uh, last uh, time for the other map looked ama amazing as well. Even I loved it, right? Uh, but but the gameplay that they revealed, the, the, the real gameplay that they revealed, people, when they got the chance to play, right? It does not look that good and, and you know what like people were comparing it with the intro cutscene a lot of people were like hey man like what <laughs> what is going on man what is going on so everybody right now in terms of the zombies uh, in the zombies community everybody looking like this man like all my all my homies be crying but in terms of the multiplayer the biggest negative is not necessarily like skill based matchmaking or these like is cheating in the games right yeah i guess everybody knows this is gonna happen but this early in the beta Day one in the beta? You suck as crazy? So yeah, this is what's going on. But I'm not even talking about that. The biggest negative so far about the multiplayer is that it does look like the same old Modern Warfare 19. It feels like that this is Modern Warfare 19 Part 4. Modern Warfare 2022 being Part 2, right? Uh, last year was Modern Warfare 19 Part 3. <laughs> this year it feels like Modern Warfare 4, man. <laughs> Modern Warfare uh, 2024 uh, or Modern Warfare 19 Part 4. It, it just feels like that there is no novelty, man. Like, the, it doesn't, do, it does not feel new. It feels like that it's a brand new map, but on Modern Warfare 19, or let's just say on last year's Call of Duty game, right? It's It feels like the copy and paste, right? That's what I'm hearing people say a lot right now. That it's copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. And that, that criticism is valid because the menu system, right? The maps and the gameplay and all that. It just feels the same. Now, don't get me wrong. Gameplay for Call of Duty is always good, right? It's smooth. It's 60 F 60 FPS. Sega's love it. Sega's love it, okay? Sega's gonna love it. And I guess Sega's gonna be Sega's, okay? Yes, uh, that is true. But 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 it's just feeling like the same old copy and paste Call of Duty. Back in the days, bruh, like every Call of Duty game would feel different okay it would feel different yes we had complaints back then too of the games feeling similar but oh hell i would take those games over <laughs> these games because at least back then the games felt different and new minus all this i mean people are saying good things maybe it's the honeymoon phase i mean it is the honeymoon phase 
but or, or maybe it's not i would be shocked if it's not just the honeymoon phase what i mean by this is that suckers are loving it come january come february come march come july next year right because come january people start to dip people start to hate it a little more and i mean listen man we are in the emo blame truth era as well man the homie when the when the homie blame truth comes out man damn it's gonna be crazy okay roll it in with diving and dodging and all that good stuff same thing that we've talked about before and okay. you know i'm not trying to like sugarcoat anything right now because it is the beta this is just a small portion of what we're going to experience in the full but game. you did bro. but what i've played so far i actually genuinely like i think it is a lot of fun although i do feel like down the line once all those there matchmaking sequences kick in it is going to create uh, a strain on a lot of people's mental health when it comes to playing this game there on a daily we basis. go there so we far go. and i gotta say this because it's the first time we've seen it this beta is available on all platforms all at once it's not staggered like we've had in the past it's been pretty solid like the first 30 minutes when it first launched and it did come out about 30 minutes early the servers were kind of wonky and it was hard to find lobbies but they added additional servers and things have been pretty smooth ever since connection wise it's feeling pretty good i mean i haven't really had any weird situations outside of a couple with the pump action shotgun and i'm gonna be honest the shotgun as it's set up right now i still gotta earn some more attachments for i don't uh -huh. want to say it's poo poo or good either way just yet because once again this isn't the full version but from what <laughs> i've used so far you have to be so incredibly close to get away yeah, don't put your pee pee in the poo poo man shot kill i have not got lucky with that too often so <laughs> when he said that it just reminded me of that line gonna have to unlock some more attachments and see where we're at my favorite weapons that I've used so far in the beta as of this point is the Jackal PDW SMG, which is one of the starter weapons you're going to have available before you get access to create a class, and the SVD semi-auto sniper. Big fan of that weapon. It feels so good in this game. And I've been able to run both of these Bang. weapons because of the overkill wild card. And once again, the creator class is a little bit different this time because very similar to Modern Warfare Remastered, we can also have a separate melee. And I'm actually a big fan of that because when you equip it in game, it gives you infinite tactical sprints, allowing you to make your way around the map. Bro, like, you're just a big fan of the game, bro. <laughs> just, make, just say that. I'm a big fan of that. Big fan of this. Big fan. Nah, bro, you are a big fan of the entire game, bro. And there's nothing wrong with that. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. Let me show you some gang gang. Welcome on in. There's nothing wrong with that, bro. Like, if you like the game, I'm happy for you, man. I'm 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 really, really glad that people are liking this game. I really hope that zombies turn out to be good, man. Because right now, man, zombies, zombies is just not feeling the same, man. And that's that's the thing that uh a lot of people are hating. And I listen, man, they, they had us in the first half, is all I gotta say. I really hope somehow, some way when the game comes out zombies turns out to be good because genuinely that's what i was looking forward to and man and these seconds just kill all that bruh but in terms of the multiplayer yeah people are liking it uh, maybe this is just the honeymoon phase and even if this is the honeymoon phase i'm glad that seconds are liking it but i hope it, it it stays longer i hope it lasts longer i hope it stays longer i hope uh, they, they update the game a lot more and i hope next year when black ops 2 remake comes out it looks like a new game and not like a copy and paste of Modern Warfare 2019, Modern Warfare 2022, Modern Warfare 3 2023, right? You feel what I'm saying? That, that's the only negative right now that I'm seeing. The biggest negative, of course, skill based matchmaking, in hackers. Um, I accidentally hit that sound team, my bad. I had to roll with it. Bruh. Yeah, the hackers and all that. Biggest negative, I get that, I get that, but it's like same old crap, right? Like every year we have this crap, right? Like every year, I guess Call of Shame, Bad Boy B Man, they gonna be making them videos, cuz G. Yo, thank you for subscribing, thank you for subscribing, gang gang, brother. I right, roll it. Wait, map a little bit faster before swapping back to your primary or secondary weapon to take down enemies. Or if you're gonna go knife only, this is gonna be really good for you because that means you're gonna be moving a lot faster than everybody else. So far, uh -huh. I've had a chance to play every map available in the beta currently, and there's only three maps, Skyline, Scud, and Derelict. That's what's available currently. My absolute favorite being Skyline. I, I love the fact that this map is the way it is. It's perfect for doing all the different dolphin diving techniques that you'd like to do, and it's great for close- I played all the maps, and there are three so far. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, that, that's fair. That's fair. It's a beta. It's a beta. In the beta, you, you don't need all the game, okay? I don't want the game when it comes out. Uh, I, I don't want the beta feeling like a full game, and I don't want when the game comes out and it feels like not even a full game, right? It feels like the same old beta or lesser than the beta, right? So that's good. That's good. That's that, that, that's that's good. That's good, right? I, I feel like that way, uh, they're gonna drop new maps probably tomorrow after tomorrow next week as well uh, i think uh, by the end we're probably gonna have six maps maybe eight maps we'll see in the game this is 16 maps so 16, 16 combat maps, so. including the use 16. of a shotgun if you really wanted to go that route 
Derelict and Scud, I'm still trying to get used to, admittedly. I haven't had enough time to play those maps because Skyline keeps getting voted in. But Scud is perfect for sniping. I really enjoyed using the SVD there. Uh -huh. I'm still trying to get used to the way that the spawns are, though. And I've noticed that on every single one of these maps, the spawns are a little bit weird. But once again, that seems to happen in every beta because they're gathering all the data that they possibly need in order to fix things for the future. As for the map Derelict, I I'm still trying to get used to it. It's got a couple of different spawn problems, especially when you're playing Hardpoint that I don't necessarily like. I don't know, just based off of the short amount of times that I've played it, if you have control of the train yard versus the side with the building, you have way more of an advantage, I feel. Like, you have uh -huh. more hiding uh -huh. spots, you have more lines of sight, and as people spawn behind that central building, yeah. there's really not too many ways you can come out of there clean without fighting and diving for your life. And once again, I think that this could just be a spawn problem, but out of all the maps that I've enjoyed, Skyline's number one, Scud is two, and Derelict is three. All three Damn. maps look great, by the way, Damn. and they all have different functionality for the type of way that people want to play. I should also mention in Domination, we went back from just being a flag to being an actual zone. I've always Jeez. really liked that. So the fact that we have a zone back is also big thumbs up for me. Just love that. Love that we have a zone back for Domination. Now, I've been trying to like figure out what I could compare this game to feel wise because Call of Duty games generally tend to feel like other games. But the past few years have been kind of strange because they've kind of all felt somewhat the same. This is yeah! not. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm, I'm actually curious to hear like what he says, right? Like, let's actually talk about this one. This is going to be serious, brothers. This is going to be serious. Roll this. few years have been kind of strange because they've kind of all felt somewhat the same. Yeah. This is not exactly the case with Black Ops 6. And I think it is due to the way that everything feels with the movement system. I really do feel like this is kind of in line with what we've already had with Cold War. And I may be- Dog, like minus the Omni movement, right? Like it feels like last year's game, bro. Like let's let's be a real man. I, I feel like that. I feel like that it's just like the honeymoon phase that is clouding his judgment. That's probably what it is. Cause it, feel, it feels like Modern Warfare 19 part four right now. And, and Sick is one, like a different distinct looking game, man. Like just different, bro. Like the art style being different, right? I, I feel like that this time the art style is kind of different, but the menus being different, right? The menus are always the same. The Netflix, the Hulu like, right? The Netflix, uh, the, the Netflix, and you have to go around and <laughs> you, you burn so many calories and <laughs> IQ points just by looking at it, right? They need to differentiate the menus and they also need to make them simple. Simple, like back in the days with Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, they had similar layout, but it felt different, man. It felt different. Similar layout, which means like the vertical layout, which nobody complained about. It was super easy to find. You hop on the game, invite your friends. It was always easy. You want to know where it was super ridiculously hard to uh, to invite friends for like the noobs and for the new players? Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3. It was ridiculously hard, even though I love Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. But, you know, the menu system and the lobby system was kind of AIDS in that way, right? Like it was super ridiculously hard to have uh, people over, your, your friends over, right? I'm not sure if you remember that, but once you get the hang off it, yeah, it was like whatever after that but i remember like there were so many connection problems inviting all the friends and all that i'm not sure if it was similar on pc or not i'm talking about playstation 3 days right but call of duty oh man it was smooth you you click like one button you see all your friends online and it tells you like what they're playing on you just send them invite boom that's it they join your game boom that's it right and then you can just click on find match and, and uh, whatever you want to play tdm domination search whatever whatever it was super easy it, right now like they complicated for no damn reason and all the menus looking the same gameplay maps feeling the same same right as well graphically it's looking kind of clean it looking nice it looks nice so I'm not really gonna complain about that because yeah graphically speaking it's not super impressive it doesn't look like trash either I would say it's above average in terms of graphics it looks nice it looks nice right so no complaints there gameplay wise looks good but the maps and all that it just feels like last year's game Mod uh, like Modern Warfare 19 part for even thoughts agree, yeah, out of disagree? Line in saying that but it could just very well be me comparing it to the last trailer game which was cold war and it happened so long ago but um i think from the way the character models are the the, the familiarity with characters like adler and park and just seeing the returning characters frank woods as an announcer just having all that stuff kind of hit me in the nostalgic feelings i kind of am comparing it to that but it's okay because i really really enjoyed cold war i think that was one of my favorite call of duty games that we've had in recent years if you got oh. access to the vault edition of the game then you get to use all of the vault edition items including Bruh. the weapon blueprints and Bruh. man they really went all out for the weapon and specs on these things i know that they showed us this the other day and it leaked a while ago but track has always been good like i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna take away from them like that the camo system ha have been good and so far they revealed the gold camo the diamond camo and they do look good 
but in terms of like camels like that the Walt edition camels uh, i'm just worried man that they're gonna go too crazy in the valley man. That's the only thing that I'm worried about that these things are gonna I mean I'm not even worried I know for the fact that I guess you know that for the, you you know this for a fact that this game is gonna be wilding out with microtransactions every other day bruh in the shop $20 here $30 there $100 there right you know I, I, I listen man like I'm not even joking around we've seen a $100 camel right in modern warfare 2023 $80 king kong patch uh bundle i should say king kong punch right a and you want to know what people said it's just activision trying to give us a reward yeah i i just can never comprehend that people said that that 80 dollars monkey punch and that $100 camo for a weapon in Modern Warfare 2023 was just a reward. Look at how nice Activation is being right now, man. You you give them $100 and they will give you a reward. You suck as crazy. You giving them $100 a reward? Activision being nice is simply put like they would not ask you for your money. Okay, they would give it to you for free right that would be the reward or not even giving you for free but but for example right like you complete a challenge in the game and that's when you get as a reward that would be the reward you did something in the game and, and you earned it that's a reward not you spending 80 dollars or 100 dollars on getting a camel that's not a reward okay like i mean i mean seconds are crazy so when you got the community saying it's just activision being nice when i pay them 100 dollars and they give me camel I, it's over it is literally joe over but minus all that bull squash yeah like the the, the camel kind of good though the camel the camel kind of good though seeing them Bruh. firsthand in game it is incredible the amount of detail that they put into these considering the previous vault because they know they need to get you to the shop to buy them 20 dollars, 30 dollar bundles the editions we've had never came anywhere close to this so I, I gotta say this one is probably the best vault edition that we've seen so far these inspects are absolutely wild and i can't uh, wait and for a new per person that do not know you need to pay extra so the game is 70 dollars, but for 100 dollars, you get the camos with the game so <laughs> these are not free when people say vault edition Vault edition is hundred dollars. See what else comes in the future. I don't even know if we're ready for it. If this is what comes in just the vault edition to begin the game, imagine what's going to be here six months later. Just some final thoughts that I have before we wrap up this video. My one concern was that this game wasn't going to feel different enough to the modern warfare series that we've had for the past couple of years. And I guess yeah, you can even you know put Vanguard and Cold War in there as well. And that's just mainly because it's kind of been the same-ish with you know tactical sprint and doors and and all the different stuff that we've kind of come to expect but after having modern warfare for two years straight i'm really happy that this game feels as different as it does like there's oh. still similarities oh. here and there oh. don't get me wrong but it does feel different the weaponry oh. feels different the Bruh. time frame feels different and i like Bruh. how each map that we've had a chance to experience so far gives you a different vibe altogether okay. i love that we're not playing the same maps over and over again i love that we're going to have 60 yeah, i'm gonna be honest bro like i'm happy for him i'm happy for everybody but this is like it's looking the same bro Maybe I'm bugging. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, I'm not taking on the chin, but let me know your thoughts, guys. Check out this video on the screen. We had the brand new Zombies gameplay, and it's a disaster, my guy. Like, my G, like, everybody's hating on it. You want to see the new map gameplay? Yeah, they revealed a new map for Zombies. Check out this video on the screen. It's an abomination, bro. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. Some PS5 Pro and GTA 6 gameplay leaks going around, which are also too wild. Okay, check it out, and I'll see you right there.